Good evening, Trading Addicts. Welcome to another weekly watch list. I am your host, Jeff Kohler, a.k.a. The Option Addict, from over at www.tradingaddicts.com. Also a tabbed blogger over at ibankcoin.com. Well, we could start things off with a little bit of market analysis, but when we get into the thick of earnings season, I usually kind of pump my brakes on that because really I think the news kind of dictates the flow of the market. With any luck, we slip into kind of that daily Dow 40 environment where the Dow fluctuates 40 points up or down in any given day for, for a one-week stretch. Would be a pretty good way to uh, for the market to kind of exhale, consolidate some gains here, and we can still have the luxury of being able to trade in and out of stocks like we have been over the last several weeks. A couple of themes I like for the upcoming week. Number one, I think just based on the risk cycle here, it's probably a pretty good idea to start building out your trash lists or start putting together some lower quality stocks. I've got a couple ideas this week, but I'm, I'm far from the, the sheer number of ideas that I want. So what I'll do is kind of watch how things trade for the first couple of days and then kind of continue to develop that list as the week wears on. In terms of uh, trade setups and themes, though, last week one of the themes that we liked quite a bit was China, right? Uh, as you can see, we had a monster trade in Sina. We had some pretty good breakouts in C-Trip, Sohu, and Yoku as well. My advice on Friday was if you're looking for a good actionable trade, you know, being that the China stocks have broken out, why not just buy into the weakness that we saw on Friday? You know, after a breakout, catch a little bit of a retest, and hopefully uh, the trend continues on. So that would be a pretty good, I think, strategy uh, at the gates Monday, unless some of these stocks open up too much, is, you know, look to buy some of these dips in some of these China stocks we caught from last week. Also, one of my favorite themes in this upcoming week is energy. Now, I'm kind of loaded to the gills in my longer term accounts in energy stocks here. Uh, for my year. Uh, projections, uh, predictions from back in January, uh, one of the things I'd mentioned is that the, the energy sector is going to have a pretty monster breakout. And we've seen crude oil pretty much already do that. Over the course of the last several years, if you look at crude oil on a longer dated chart, you'll see just a, a classic multi-year consolidation. Well, a lot of these uh, a lot of these stocks too, like Take Schlumberger, which has been my favorite, uh, we've been talking about a lot of these stocks on uh, charts that span over the last several decades and how they've all coiled up and they're just now getting ready to break out. Again, I'm looking at Schlumberger on a, on a monthly chart over the last 20 years. A lot of these stocks look like that, whether it be NOV, CAM, NOG. In fact, those are a couple of my favorite plays here this week. Uh, NOV would be one that hasn't uh, taken off and been as fast as some of the others. Uh, also, NOG, which is one that I already owned, but I think that still looks really, really good, especially if you look at it on the long term. We'll go back to the longer data chart, and there's my favorite trading pattern, the old bullish wedge. So right here is pretty much a uh, unbelievable spot, to say the least. So look at some of these energy stocks on the, on the longer term time frames, and you'll see some incredible opportunities out there that are going to really start taking off here pretty soon. Couple other just uh, stocks again, not not really any any themes necessarily, other than we'll talk some some trash trades. But I, I like J C Penney's down here. Uh, this is a stock that we haven't talked about or touched in a little while. Well, I, I think now's a pretty good time, and it's been off the radar for long enough. Speaking of trashy uh, retail, I also took another position in Sears on first thing uh, Friday morning. Uh, those are those are a couple of themes that I like for the upcoming week. Um, I do like First Solar. If I can catch this a little bit closer, and again, my charts are all marked up here, but uh, if I can catch First Solar down near 48 uh, tomorrow, I'll be a buyer and give Solar a try. Uh, looking for a breakout in, in LinkedIn in this upcoming week. I'm sure pretty much everybody is. Uh, good little buy-the-dip opportunity with how weak it was on Friday. Really, really good trend here. So look for a pop in LinkedIn that I think should be pretty playable. Um, we'll look at uh, OVTI, short-term wedge. This great trade location right here. As long as these lows hold, which is about 17 bucks per share. Stop underneath 17 should be a pretty good breakout from that pattern there. Uh, I like uh, solar winds, the way that it was just kind of flagging here for about a week or so. And popped out of that. Should make its way up to the next reference point up above which is about 48 uh, I like riverbed is another candidate I love here a lot of thin air up above good pullback after this monster breakout 
good spot in that. I like CST, which has kind of been consolidating here for a little while. I like the uh, the 3D plays, 3D systems. As a matter of fact, my top pick here. Uh, LITB light in the box. If you're looking for a uh, you know recent IPO stock that's getting set to break out, that's one I would keep an eye on. I also think you ought to have a position in one of the housing stocks. So whether it be uh, HOV or BZH, you know, gravitate towards those that have the the high short interest. Uh, but those I think are some pretty good plays to watch for the upcoming week as well. Uh, a couple more, and we'll we'll cut it loose here. Lock L O C K. Again, just looking for similar trading patterns kind of across the board here. Pandora. Pandora kind of doing the same thing. Good support level back through here off of a prior breakout. And I've already got a position in this work day, but it, it climbed up, touched its its 52-week high, and has pulled back a little bit. So that should be a pretty good breakout play uh, to start off the week. Uh, I'll go over to the uh, cheap stocks. I've only got a few here, but I'm already starting to build out my own little trash list. So I, I picked up shares in Ren on Friday at a, just about where they closed at 315. Um, these media stocks are, are popping all over the place. So I've got my eye on Dolan Media, which has built a pretty good base and kind of reversing out of it. Uh, I've got LPR, cheap, cheap, cheap stock, but uh, one that could see a pretty nice little pop all the way up to a buck. I'm going to be watching some of those small cap energy plays as well in the upcoming week. Uh, Molly Corp's a name that I love right here. Might be a couple more days, but I'm probably going to buy a little bit of this uh, coming out tomorrow. And what else do I have here? I've got GV, and then I got some uh, genetic stocks that I'm keeping an eye on. I'm going to build to my long-term account this upcoming week as well. So, guys, I can't say that I'm neither bullish or bearish on the market here. I'm basically just going to be listening to a couple of earnings calls, looking at the market's reaction, and trying to get uh, you know, a, a judge of its reaction and, and kind of go forward. So, really, I'm, I'm neutral here. I really don't have a, a thick bias one way or the other. Um, but like I said, I think best case scenario would be if volatility stays pretty well dormant, then that means we're going to still have great conditions to trade in and correlations to, should remain pretty low. So those are the ideas that I'm watching for the upcoming week, guys. It's been a, uh, been a really, really good stretch here, hoping to carry that out into next week. If you want to see how we're playing any of these ideas, please visit me at tradingaddicts.com or follow me over at ibankcoin.com. This has been The Option Addict. That's been my watch list. Thanks for watching. Have a profitable week. I always admired your ability to communicate precisely. Yeah.